Oh, good morning. So today is Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, February 7th, and I'm MJ. I'm the founder of Ultra Love, and I'm happy to be here. Um, so, you know, happy is a bit of a fluctuating word. I probably show up and you're like, oh, super happy, joyful. Yes. I spend a lot of time, you know, like crying and laughing sometimes. I spend a lot of time in reflection. I, I am a long time meditator, but I'm probably feeling the call to meditate even more these days because oh, the noise is everywhere and you know it's a funny world as far as like everyone's an expert and uh, I'm seeing more and more videos by people like breaking out of cults and MLM companies and um, being scammed by manifestation teachers and it's really uh, diving me deep into like, uh, what is, what is this, you know, what's coming out for people? Because I do genuinely believe in manifestation. So from the simple thing of like, there's nobody else perceiving through your eyes. Thus, um, we can change our perspective and when we change our perspective the world around us changes it it really is that simple i think the ash is that the it's like sort of uh the beautiful and holistic practice of yoga just being like downward dog yeah you right so like manifestation really isn't about like i manifest two hundred thousand dollars and now you can do it because you can buy my course and that's how i'm gonna generate more money so it's like like manifestation is real but the depth and the complexity and like the annoying truths about what it really means is what most like not not most i don't know a lot a lot of people or pe my observations maybe my observations are limited but like that's part of the resistance is not wanting to feel. I want to blame the guru. I want to blame the system. I want to blame the people in my life, right? And that's kind of uh, that's kind of where shadow work is pointing us to, right? And um, I I know in my own process that's what my book my book was about. My own process. It just turns out that my own intuitively guided process is very much in alignment with things like shadow work. And also just the human construct of like, why are we all so like frightened to feel? Because it's painful. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know, like sitting there in bed for however many fucking minutes or hours, just be like, ah, 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 ah. people are like, oh, can I Google it? <laughs> it's like, can I just take a pill for it? Can I shop it away? No. Your heart wants to feel it, and in the feeling it, you release it. It's very, like, um, profound and deep. And again, I think that's part of the, the kind of, uh, what's the word? Dichotomy? No, I don't think it's that word. It's the polarity of it. And even, like, some people, like, they don't believe because it's so far stretched. And or, in a sense, abstracted from our three-dimensional cookie cutter this is this is reality so three-dimensional uh separation consciousness into this quantum multi-dimensional is, is a bit of a leap hence a lot of people are like she did it to me <laughs> she uh corrupted me and i'm like well i think all throughout the ages there's been snake what's it called snake oil salespeople. but that's like about us understanding our economy and being able to follow our intuition, suspicious, like this person led you. <laughs> Tenth house, authority! <gasps> okay, so so yesterday I started this new thing. I might keep it going, I might not. But I wanted to pick from the um, Star Codes Astro Oracle deck. Fantastic by, who is this? Heather Roan Robbins, gifted by a dearest friend. So like, hello. Um, 10th house is kind of like what I was talking about. Yo, you're your own authority. Don't give that authority to other people. Don't give it the authority. I mean, I get it. 
there's big scary forces out there, right? And uh, we ought to be all frightened of it. And at the same time, like when we just really go about your day to day, like what's around you, trees, other people. So these big forces are really just an unconscious projection of the collective conscious. Is it? Maybe something like that. Anyway, noodle away. Don't listen to my words. You know, listen to your heart. Listen to your own heart. Listen to your own vibe. Jare's 10th house authority. You're the authority, right? Um, I, well, actually, and some of you, I actually feel you, you could be getting messages from an authority and, or a lot of you guys have probably been working, work, 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 come on, Rihanna, <gasps> work, 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 um, you're going to be, you've been working and working and I'm, I'm getting 10, so it's 10th house, but I'm also getting this idea of 10 as like a breaching a pinnacle, 10th house is Capricornian energy. That's the kind of mountain goat, right? It's just the slow and steady. Keep on, keep on, keep it on, keep it on. And like eventually you reach the summit, right? Eventually you reach the, your desired goal, which for some of you could be a sense. I'm getting for the most, it's like an inner authority. You are the chooser of your thinking you are the chooser of your reality holla 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 and that's like the biggest biofeedback is just that we're having as an as a species having to deal with all this generational long-standing like repressed energy and it's not obvious from the quantum perspective when you're anchored in the 3d perspective so yeah <laughs> just keep just keep swimming, just keep crying, just keep swimming, just keep feeling, just keep, uh, you know, and then be like, but I'm here now. And I can feel and I can breathe. I can change, I can change. What is that from? Is that from a movie? You guys, oh shitters. There's a whole bunch of fives coming out. I'm hearing about the game of life. There's a chessboard here somebody's playing that chessboard it's like that it's like are you gonna be the one playing the chessboard and playing those people or are you gonna let those people play you seriously though like there's something in this card i've never knew i've never really seen it like this before so she's all like what what she's truly got the power but in a sense you could see that these people could be like do this do that and she's like no actually wait i want to do it this way i want to go here But the, this is a game, too. It's remembering it's a game. As in, that's part of the glorious bittersweetness of our existence here. It is a finite existence, right? Uh, hence the video game. Game over. Play again. Ding. Um, it's such a head bugger, that the idea that it's an illusion yet again from a spiritual quantum perspective hence people talk about a paradigm shift the paradigm shift is our evolution it's just a change of our value systems because we're evolving out of one perspective and moving into another paradigm shift it's paradigm is a whole host of belief systems and if we're taking our belief systems from the fear of separation into a more unified loving and holistic perspective that's going to change the world <laughs> and it might just be that it allows us all to have a bit more power rather than being dictated to by these puppets remember it's a game and um you do have the power to break free from your perceived limitations the five from osho is an outsider card it's represented the five of pentacle in this card, obviously this child is blocked out, the, the fence is there. But when you look closely, you'll see that the key and or the lock is actually hanging unlocked. <clears throat> so with an adult awareness, an adult could come along and go, oh, you just have to unhook the lock and then we'll unravel these, these chains and you'll, you'll be free. You know, you can get out of this space. Of feeling like an outsider. Chiron's moving through Aries. I swear to God, there's probably a whole bunch of us dealing with these feelings of being unworthy, not belonging anywhere. Where do we fit in? I'm not good enough. It's never going to happen. Like, 
you know, and, and I, I dare say it'll, it will, you'll be all right. You know, you're your own authority. It's like, if we can shoot, we can be in that. We can also be in the space of I, I belong. Even if we have one or two, you know, even when we have, I've always been one of these small circle peeps. I've never, yeah, you know, from high school, as long as like, I just have like one or two friends and just, <laughs> but solid, right? And that's how it is now. Mountain, there's something, you guys are definitely like, and this kind of connects. So I've got this mountain energy. We're climbing this mountain. We're slow and steady. We're working at something. We're becoming our own in authority. And or some of you guys are going to have a bit of a shift in your working life um, to become an authority. Like promotion or expertise or some of that beauty, beautiful stuff. And then that is helping you all at once to overcome and rise out of this state of like, I don't belong. I'm not good enough to get it up, but you are. And you're ready. You're ready to break out of this victimhood. I, some of these words just require a context, right, to them. And you can all say that we're all empowered and we're all victims, you know. There's always going to be a paradoxical expression in our individuation. Um, so all these feelings of victimhood are real. There are, we are, you know, there are real victim states of being, obvi. Some of us have been abused. Some of us have been raped. Some of us have genuinely been exiled from our family. Some of us live in family con or grew up in family constellations that didn't really communicate, have much support, right? Like, so this is real. We're having to rise out and own our, I don't belong. I'm not good enough. I'm going to see it for what it is. Hala shazam. And then uh, rise up. Rise up. Is that a song? Do 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 do. I'm a prof. I was a professional singer. <laughs> I was never a professional singer ever. I was um always the girl. I did I did study acting at drama school. Um, and I was always the one who's like, yeah, she moves well. Not a great, not a great singer though. In my, it's like all. Do you guys ever have that like where when I'm singing along to say Beyonce or something of this nature, in the car, I'm pretty much as good as Beyonce. <laughs> Do you guys ever have that like when you're singing along and you're like, oh my god, I am fucking amazing. What's that song by Tyla? Make me sweat. In my mind, I sound like her, and I'm just like this is like. <laughs> <clears throat> But then when her sound goes out and I hear myself, I'm like, oh, sh no, but don't. But then I'm also on that other side of like, just sing and express yourself, my lovers. Look, festivity. Did I play on that? No. There's that card. Festivity. I'm hearing that song. Girls wanna have fun. Oh, oh. Is that Cindy Lauper, I want to say? I'm having a hole in the mouth. In the middle of a night, I'm ba -da 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 when I was shit right. Okay, I never know the lyrics, but there you go, Cindy. Homage to Cindy Lauper. What a legit awesome legend. So festivities is coming up. This has been a sto a slow and steady climb for my love of Supreme. This is like you know, don't listen to the naysayers. I I would have to yeah, no, 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 no. I think some of you have been releasing and or are in the process of releasing some pretty long-standing patterns that are probably feeling burdensome, working too hard, carrying too much energy from other people, not really embracing your authenticity so that you can be who you are and step into the role or the kind of life that you really want, being your own authority rather than the victim, rather than the outsider, rather than having to listen to other people or be dictated to. So you're the one. You're in dominion. You're the one playing the game. Other people aren't playing you. Yes! Mm. Okay, we like that. Go have fun, my lovers. Is it the weekend? It's so not the weekend. Like, gee whiz. Could I be... Could I be any more Chandler Bing? Homage. What's his name? Matthew Perry. What, what? Thank you for existing, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. What is the friend song? Doon, diddly, doon, ding, 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 ding. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm annoying myself. So thanks, thanks you, thanks you guys. 
And ooh, guess what? I've got this new thing happening behind the scenes. But if you happen to know any festivals this summer that would like a traveling tarot, <laughs> I'm your girl. Have a wicked, wicked day ahead, <coughs> my lovers, on this Wednesday, February 7th, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care. Peace out.